I think it'd be a continuation of what we said last night that they'll speak to the respective parties, speak to Con, speak to Andy Robertson if they can, um, find out what each person's got to say, see if there's any witness. I mean, there's a lad there, I don't know who that is, see if anybody's witnessed it, look at the TV footage, drill down into what's really gone on and hopefully come to a conclusion very speedily. Stephen, Sue, so have you ever seen anything like that? I haven't, no. Um, and, you know, I... I understand the point that Andy Robertson was was in his, his face, talking to him, wanted him to, to turn round, but you cannot react like that. You cannot react with an elbow. If if you'd have just turned round and sort of said, like, what, what, what do you want to discuss? What do you want to talk about? But I think when, when you respond with an elbow like that, I think that's, yeah, completely unacceptable. Yeah, it's, it's really bad, isn't it? Um, we, we talk about the Mitrovic incident. Um, we talk about referees being protected and, and officials. But I think there's, there's, there's almost a case where you look at Andrew Robertson and go, was he in the face of the assistant referee? No matter if he is or he isn't, they, they, they have the power on the pitch to almost move the players out the way anyway, in a verbal way, as if to say, step away, we can talk about this properly. But when, when I watch this incident, it's almost like Andrew Robertson wants to have a chat with him and he doesn't want to speak to him. And that's what annoys Andrew Robertson. Then he sort of puts his arm on his arm to, to pull him back round to have the chat, but that you can't throw an elbow. You cannot do that. It's totally unacceptable. Yeah. There's no way that he can be running the line this weekend, is there? Uh, well, the process is going on, so I, I don't do the appointments. The appointments are done tomorrow. If you did, would you, you'd take him out the firing line, though, surely, wouldn't you? I'd speak to him first and find out how he is um, before I made any decision. But um, with the process going on, you'd think it's unlikely. Uh, when you take comparisons, and it's difficult because it's the other way round, but Alexander Mitrovic is currently serving an eight-game ban for touching an official. Other way round, do you think it, it could well be something similar? Yeah, um, I think there's obviously the case of the FA said that the punishment wasn't long enough for Mitrovic. So how does this now carry over to an official? I think that's a very difficult one for uh, to sort of to speculate about what will happen. Um, but if this was the other way round, again, if it was a player that had done this to an official, there'd be, there'd be outrage about it and they would be asking for 15, 20 game ban because it is, it, it's a, it, effectively, it, it looks like assault, doesn't it, in the way that the elbow is being thrown.